I gotta find a better way to put my rods in the Jeep. Ah. Well, if you ever have this problem and you just can't fit your big rods in your vehicle, then I think I might have found a solution. All right, guys. Well, today I'm gonna show y'all how to install a rod holder on top of your Jeep, SUV, anything that might have these little racks up here. Um, me, personally, I have the worst problem getting my rods, especially my seven foot rods into a small vehicle like this. So today I'm gonna show you all how to make a rod holder, something that's long enough and a strap up here. It'll hold your rods, your reels, and everything you need. So that way when you go, just slide it in there, you're good to go. So let me show you what I got. All right guys, so I went to Lowe's today and I got me a few things to make this rod holder. First off, I got this four inch by 10 feet long PVC pipe. I got a cap for the bottom end. I got a lid adapter. For the other end and I got this lid and also I went and bought some uh, rust-oleum truck bed coating black to uh, coat this in to make it look good on top of the Jeep and total I spent $44 even I bet I couldn't do that again if I tried but anyway guys we're gonna put all this together um, I really don't need the whole 10 feet of this PVC pipe so I marked right here at seven and a half feet because I'm gonna cut it right there because my rods are only seven feet long. So seven and a half feet should be more than enough to have some wiggle room to put more in there if I need to. So uh, let's get to work. Time to put on coat number two. Now the lid, I'm going to spray with uh, Rust-Oleum Camouflage, it's this uh, military tan looking color, just so it's a different color. Alright, next I got some uh, foam from an old uh, memory foam mattress that I'm going to put inside the tube to cushion the rods. So I got some of this E6000 I'm just going to put on the inside of this cap, a way to hold it. There you go. That is it all painted and put together, cut to size. Now it's time for the install. See 
all I'm using right here is these heavy duty zip ties because I just really don't want to spend the extra money on straps and stuff like that. I mean, sure straps will hold it down a little bit better, but if you're doing it on a budget like I am, these heavy duty zip ties work just as well. Alright. Looks pretty good. I mean, sure, you know, could have done a little bit more, spent a little bit more money, made a little bit better. But for forty-four dollars, you know, you can't, you can't beat it. This, uh, this ain't going anywhere. It's staying. It takes forever to go in, but it comes out just that freaking easy that is. Ah! There we go, finally. There it is, in there. Awesome, we are done with that. And there's the finished product, guys. Good, pull holder. And the locks. Alright, well there you have it guys, how to make your own pole holder from start to finish and we made it out of just some you know, basic supplies from Lowe's. We had a, the, the, uh, the uh, and there you have it guys, how to make a pole holder from start to finish with the, some basic supplies we got from Lowe's. The original price is $44, went back, got a lock that was only an extra 4 or $5, so still under that $50 mark. And look how great it turned out, you know, you can easily hold about 5 or 6 poles in there. But guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, your own little ideas, please drop in the comments below. I love hearing from y'all. If you haven't already, please hit the bell, uh, subscribe to the channel, and give me the big thumbs up if y'all like the video. All right, guys, I will see y'all next time on Dark Real Action. Say goodbye. Y'all have no I y'all have no idea how many times I have done that outro. Why does an outro have to be so freaking hard? You'd think it'd be easy to say a few words and you're done. Nope.